Good morning, folks. We've got yesterday's homework assignment to go over, a reminder of where control lies, some cosmology, and another sprinkle on catastrophism. We're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day brought central plasma filaments and a coronal hole in to face the Earth. We are watching for those to erupt, and the coronal hole solar wind is about three days away. The solar wind here right now is pretty much middle of the road, not calm, not intense, Minor magnetic and kinetic perturbations keeping geomagnetic instability near the table the last day. The homework was for us to wait for the coronagraphs to update so we could judge the breadth of the filament eruption on the south. Is it coming our way? Here's the C2 coronagraph and what you should notice is most if not all the ejecta is heading out to the left. Kind of looked like the filament shot out that way to begin with. NOAA is still refusing to update their enlil spiral to include potentially relevant CMEs, but NASA shows it, and if you guessed very close miss with the CME heading just behind Earth's orbit, I agree. Folks, this was a good one. Okay, now NASA is allowed to have the data on meteors entering the upper atmosphere. You see, the fear of missiles set the stage for extreme monitoring. The fear of their enemies and of people seeing aliens or something caused the data to be censored. Seem a bit weird that this week NASA just got permission to see the decades of Boloid data? I think so too. Folks, the big cosmology news right now is that a recent mass measurement of one of the known bosons is way off. From nature to the journal science, the field has been sent into a bit of a tizzy, with a standard model on the chopping block for now about the hundredth reason. If you are unfamiliar with those, find one of our plasma cosmology videos. They are well worth the time. Many of you saw the Who Are the Observers stats YouTube provided us, figured it might be interesting to share where we're all from, but I also must admit, while the data seems to suggest the abundance of middle-aged males, it seems like there was a flood of females my age in the comments section of the post. Maybe it's just selective eyesight, doesn't matter. Anyway, kind of a big deal here, foraging and pollination success, the latest items to be touched by the geomagnetic situation. This is one of thousands of new studies that expand on the old bird magnetic navigation migration we all know about. It's now dozens of species of insects, mammals, birds, reptiles, on land and in the ocean. Dozens of microbial species and plant species as well. Folks, the picture painted by their totality is one of complete food chain collapse in the geomagnetic excursion on our doorstep now. This has been a key aspect of biosphere risk in the modern catastrophism studies and it sets the seriousness of our impending natural scenario. By the way, in addition to pre-ordering the new book, if you're looking for kids' books for Easter or any other reason, the latest children's book comes with the Lulu toy. Kids do love all three in our children's series. All of our books and gear are at otf.cells.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.